Uh, potential Ethereum hard fork token, ETH proof of work may trade at one and a half percent of Ether's price features suggest. So you guys remember this, right? The uh, Polyonex and Justin Sun and uh, Guo and all these guys trying to push basically a hard fork of Ethereum that would remain uh, proof of work. I've pretty much been against this idea since the get go. And they released essentially on the Apollo Neex uh, exchange a version, uh, a, a proof of work version of Ethereum that you could trade. And it is now just absolute, uh, it just absolutely decimated, right? So potential Ethereum hard fork token may trade at 1.5% of Ethereum's price futures suggest. Paradigm expects the token will open at at least $18. If you have been following the crypto market for some time, you probably have heard that Ethereum, the world's largest smart contract blockchain, may undergo a hard fork later this month, splitting into a proof of stake chain and a proof of work chain. The Ethereum chain with the proof of stake consensus mechanism will retain the seven year old Ether, which was recently trading at 1570 as its native token, and the proof of work chain representing a group of miners opposing the impending merge or switch to proof of stake would have a new token called ETH POW. Crypto analysts figure that if the chain splits, ETH holders will receive ETH proof of work free of cost. One way to gauge the potential value of ETH proof of work is to look at the difference between spot Ether and future prices according to Paradigm, which focuses on the over-the-counter trading for institutions. As of Wednesday, uh, Ether, September 30th, expiry contracts listed on major exchange exchanges traded at a discount of $18 to the spot price, indicating the market is expecting ETH POW token to draw a price of at least $18 at inception. We can infer how much the market estimates ETH proof of work will be worth from simply looking at a spot future basis. Since spot equals proof of stake plus proof of work while future is just proof of stake paradigm said in a merge paradigm said in a merge focused blog post published Wednesday. Currently the basis is implying ETH proof of work to be priced at $18, which is 1.5% of the ETH market cap. I think it's worth exactly $0 guys. Trading giant uh, Cumberland voiced a similar opinion last month saying we can infer how much the market estimates ETH proof of work will be worth from the spot future basis. This also means like even at $18, if that's what you're projecting it to be worth, Ethereum Classic is worth more at this point, right? The logic behind considering the $18 basis as a possible ETH proof of work price is that the discount represents the risk-free cost of collecting the potential forked tokens. So if traders are willing to pay $18, they must expect the token to be priced at $18 or higher. Traders stand to receive ETH POW free of cost if they hold ETH and will receive nothing if they take bullish exposure through the futures or options market. So Ether's price can be taken to represent the value for Ether as well as the potential for the ETH POW token. Holding ETH to earn ETH proof of work, however, means being exposed to ETH's price volatility. A decline in ETH price would eat into money made from receiving ETH POW for free and liquidating into the spot market. So the ideal strategy to make risk-free money is to buy ETH in short September futures, the so-called spread trade. That way, ETH holders can pocket ETH POW without any directional risk. Assume a trader took the trade on Wednesday when futures were priced at an $18 discount. The discount is essentially the cost of collecting ETH POW tokens risk-free because futures sold at a discount of $18 would eventually converge with the spot price. The features premium discount narrows as expiry nears in and eventually converges on the spot price on the day of settlement. The hedged long spot trade aimed at collecting ETH proof of work without directional risk is one of the most popular ways of trading the impending merge. With our newest integration with FTX, the spot 30 September future uh, spread price of around $18 can be seen as a derivative market on how much traders are willing to pay to be long spot short futures to receive ETH proof of work tokens. Patrick Shu, head of institutional coverage for the Asian Pacific region at Paradigm, told Coindesk, We have seen a large uptick in clients since the start of the partnership. Last month, Paradigm, in partnership with crypto exchange FTX, launched single-click execution of the spread trades. The value for ETH POW tokens suggested by the futures basis is significantly lower than the price that IOUs representing the token are currently trading at on exchanges. MEXC, 
CoinW, Phoenix, BitTrue, and Gate.io. At press time, ETH POW IOUs traded at $50 according to CoinMarketCap. Data. Prices reached as high as $140 early last month, indicating a frenzy around the potential hard fork token. So at the end of the day, not financial advice, but you probably wouldn't want to go into spot purchasing ETH proof of, dub, proof of or POW, proof of work, IOUs, unless they were under $18. That's how I'm reading it. So let me know what you guys think. I still think it's worth $0 at the end of the day, and I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pull. But, you know, not financial advice, and that's just me. Sounds like you definitely don't want to touch it unless it's at least under $18. Digital Dollar Project plans to explore CBDC technical solutions with new sandbox. Look, guys, I'm pro-crypto. I'm anti-CBDC. A lot of this stuff is getting really interesting. It's starting to drag in the digital assets and Ripple stuff. Uh, it's really interesting. You know, I'm... I'm it's 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 interesting and scary at the same time. It's also inevitable to a certain extent. So I guess we just prepare for the future. But Digital Dollar Project plans to explore CBDC technical solutions with the new sandbox. The nonprofit organization advocating for U.S. central bank digital currency plans to work with crypto platforms like Digital Asset and Ripple to explore technical and policy aspects of a digital dollar. The Digital Dollar Project (DDP) a nonprofit organization advocating for a U.S. central bank digital currency is starting a technical sandbox to explore technological business and policy solutions for a digital dollar, according to a Wednesday press release. The program, which will kick off this October, plans to bring the private and public sectors together to evaluate CBDC infrastructure solutions, the release said. Initial participants in the sandbox include California-based firm Ripple, Digital Asset, MTech, and Knox Networks. Of course, Ripple is included. Never been for Ripple, and it is obviously blatantly clear that this is kind of right up their alley from the get-go. You know, they're here to integrate these third parties that we wanted to push out of the financial system back into the crypto financial system. They want to essentially take everybody that's failed us from the very get-go, the Federal Reserve and the banks, and they want to integrate it into crypto. That is what Ripple wants to do at the end of the day, and I'm wholeheartedly opposed to that. DDP started working with Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, DTCC, one of the nation's largest financial service providers, on a CBDC pilot called Project Lithium in April. In 2021, DDP announced it would be launching five pilot projects to test the digital dollar this year. The U.S. is still in the early stages of considering a digital dollar. Out of the 105 countries currently exploring a CBDC, 50 are serious about it and are putting it in development, pilot for launch phases, but the U.S. is still in the research phase, John Lipsy or Lipsky, Senior Director at the Atlantic Council's Geoeconomic Center, told Coindesk TV in July. In June, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said the U.S. really needs to explore a CBDC. Earlier this year, the Office of Financial Research, an arm of the U.S. Treasury Department that explores risks to the financial system, said that a digital dollar could help stabilize the financial system. And Coindesk has reached out to Ripple Digital Asset and other participants for comment. Now, obviously, Jerome Powell has no idea what's going on because, frankly, he's even said in the past, we had now realize we don't understand how inflation works. Well, if you keep changing the definition, Mr. Powell, it will be difficult to understand how it works. This is basically at the end of the day, if you keep changing the definitions to financial, like obvious, like to obvious financial <laughs> terms, you're going to have a diff, you're going to have difficulty determining what they mean because you're changing the definition. That's it, right? And if you want to move into, well, okay, uh, we're going to solve that with the CBDC to stabilize the financial system. Yeah, that's going to be able to stabilize it from the perspective of being able to print as much money as you want out of thin air a lot more easily than with the current system. Um, that means you stabilize it for the top 1%, but you basically destroy anything uh, as far as for the middle class and below. That's pretty much what happens. I mean, I guess at the very low end, it makes it a little bit easier for people to maybe obtain their their food stamps type stuff, et cetera, and you have more control over what they're allowed to spend their money on and so on, um, which I guess is really, at the end of the day, a CBDC is just, it's it's all the government's money 
and you're allowed to use it for things that they decide you're allowed to use it for, right? That's what it'll turn into at the end of the day. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.